Did you know that you can order gift cards directly from Shopify? You can either purchase their pre-made gift card templates or you can design your own template and upload it to Shopify and then order it directly from Shopify. I'm gonna show you how to do both of those things in today's video. And I'm also going to show you a couple of other recommendations of where you can go and design templates, purchase pre-made templates, and then have them printed elsewhere outside of Shopify. So I'm gonna give you all the options today. And then part two of this video will be all about how to actually go about setting up the gift card in Shopify and either issuing a gift card to an individual as a free gift or how you can set it up as a product that your shoppers can purchase from you directly, whether that's online or in your store. So part one is gonna be all about designing and then ordering gift cards. And then part two will be all about purchasing gift cards or setting up your gift cards in Shopify directly to allow your customers to purchase from you. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is come to this link. I will link it in the description bar down below. And this is where you can find customizable gift cards from Shopify. Now, if you scroll down, you see you have a couple of options. You have custom plastic gift cards, pre-made plastic gift cards, custom paper gift cards, and pre-made paper gift cards. So, they're all the same price. I'm gonna demonstrate first the pre-made gift cards. So for those of you who don't want to take the time to design your own gift card, these will be a good option for you. So again, we have it selected on pre-made. And then you have two options, paper or plastic. So it just depends on your preference. And then if you've ordered a gift card in the past, you can link to it to here to reference it. But if this is your first time, you'll skip that. And then you have eight options for which gift card you can choose from. So we've got the holiday gift card, classic. I'll just go through all of them. So this one's called Leaf, Mystique, Treat Yourself, Whimsical, Balloon, and Elegant. So if you like one of these gift cards, feel free to select it. And once again, I'll talk about how to create your own gift card in a second. But this, for now, we're gonna pretend that we like this gift card. From there, we get to choose if we want it to be a glossy finish or a matte finish, so you can make your selection. And then, you wanna add some details to the back of the card. So the card's gonna look like this on the front, but the back, you can put the name of your store, you can put a different message. Um, you can put your address. If you have a brick and mortar. And then a link to your website. And then from there, you can choose your shipping. It is free shipping for seven to 10 business days, or you can rush order for three to five business days. And then you will select the number of gift cards so the more gift cards you buy, the cheaper your order will be. So if you're buying 5,000 gift cards, they will be 51 cents each, versus if you're only buying 100, they will be $1.69. Um, so you need to make your decision how many gift cards you want. You might wanna start small in the beginning, or if you know you have a lot of people buying gift cards, it might make sense to buy 5,000. And then you can determine, do you want to add a gift card sleeve? So, you know, what you insert the gift card into. Um, if you do, it's going to be an additional cost. It's currently, as of January 2023, we have this sleeve costing $59. You do have four options for colors, black, white, green, and red. And then you can determine the quantity if you select 5,000, they might be cheaper. I'm not doing the math on that, but you can do the math and see if that makes sense. But of course you would buy the same number that you selected up here, and then you would add to cart. So if I add that to cart, you can see that it's added to the cart, of course. 
Um, and then I would need to add, scroll back down, and then click Add to Cart for the actual gift cards, and then you can check out. I'm not going to walk through checking out. Now we've walked through the pre-made templates, but what if you want to order from Shopify but design your own? Well, you would simply, let's say I'm going to delete this from the, well, I'll just delete it from my cart, why not? Okay, so now that nothing's in my cart, I'm going to go back. And from this screen, you can actually choose design your own. And then you have the ability to, once again, select paper or plastic. If you have a reorder, if you've designed your own order in the past, you can link to it here. For new orders, we'll skip that. And then you can, if you have Photoshop or Illustrator, you can download their template so you can um, design it yourself using their template. I'm not going to do that today because I'm, I'm thinking most of you might not have experience with Photoshop or Illustrator. I know some of you do. So if you are, you can probably figure it out on your own. In a second, I'm going to actually show you how to use Canva, which is a free program to design your own gift card. So this is where we would upload the file. So now what I'm going to do is switch over to Canva. And once you've logged into Canva, if you have your own account, you can search for gift card templates. So I've already searched for that. And here I'm seeing all the options of gift card templates that I can use. So there are quite a few to choose from. Some of them are more holiday themed. Some of them are just generic. What you're going to do is pick one that you like. And let's say you want a specific happy birthday gift card. Maybe you would choose this. Here you can see this card. This gift card has an option to um, enter the to and from, but you might not need that on your gift card. You might just want one that, maybe the front, you just want it to say gift card like this one. And then the back, you can have that. So each template is, should have a front and back, but you'll select which one you want. Let's say I like this one. I'll click customize this template. And then from there, I can even change the background. So if I have a brand color, I can select it. And I can go down and I can change the color here. I can change the font color. And then you can edit the text. So right now it's saying, please feel free to call us for any questions and concerns. It makes up an address. Maybe we don't want it to say that. Maybe we just want it to say our store name. And yes, I'm making up this store. I don't actually have a boutique called Elle's Boutique, but it could be fun. Um, and then maybe I wanted my brick and mortar address, making this up again. And you can adjust the font, move it around. Canva's great because it helps you center things. And then maybe you want to put your logo here. I wonder if I can search for a I don't have any logos handy right now, but let's pretend this was my logo. I could delete this and put my logo here. That doesn't look great, but you get the idea. So from there, once you have it ready to go, you would simply download it. And then we would go back to Shopify and 
you would upload it. Oops, that's not how I have to do it. So you can't drag and drop apparently. You have to choose your file. So this is gonna be the front of the card. So with Shopify, they don't allow you to, well actually, yeah. So Shopify doesn't allow you to upload the back it looks like. So once again, you would enter whatever text you wanted. And then once again, choose glossy matte. Um, your shipping number of cards. Do you want a card sleeve and then add to cart? So if we do that, the problem with Shopify, they're not letting me preview what it looks like, which other programs will. So one thing I want to point out, you can actually from Canva, you can actually print these and order them directly from Canva. And you can decide how many. For some reason, it's calling this template an invitation, but of course we know it's a gift card. Um, but you can determine how many you'd like to order. And then, since this thinks it's an invitation, I'm gonna uncheck envelope, because we don't need that. And then from there, you can continue and check out. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this check the whole checkout process should be relatively easy for you to follow along but um, another option would be to print them out from Vista print so you would download this template that you created and then go to vistaprint.com and then upload it and you can print them out through Vista print so what you want to do is compare prices and make a decision on um, which one will give you the best price. So with this example, 150 would be $90. You also have to make sure the size is going to turn out right. Um, and then Vista Print, you know, you would compare the price. And then lastly, my other two additional suggestions, Etsy. And you can see on Etsy, I've searched for gift card template. So if you don't like the Canva options and you want someone else to, if you want to download a template, you can do it through Etsy. So you see here, like maybe you love this one or this one, um, you would download it, you would pay for it, $2.99, download it, and then you can usually upload it into Canva or Photoshop or Illustrator and make any additional edits, and then from there you can print them. You can print them through Canva or Vista Print is my other recommendation. You also can look for gift card sleeves. So one thing I meant to point out is when on the Shopify gift card sleeves, there were only four colors to choose from. So if you wanted something fancier, you can look at Etsy templates or Etsy. You can actually purchase um, these actual gift card holders. I think most of these are probably meant for like one-offs, like a consumer is giving a gift to a friend or family member and they want a cute gift card holder. So you might have to do some digging to see if you can find any that are more meant for retail shopping because these are kind of pricey. But just wanted to throw that out there as well if you don't like the, uh, the gift card holder options on Shopify. All right, so that's how you design a gift card. I think in part two, I will make a video on how to set your gift cards up through Shopify. So what we'll talk about in that video is how to 
um, issue your gift cards and how to upload gift cards for purchase as a product that your shoppers can purchase from you. So I will link to part two when it's ready. And with that, let me know if you guys have any questions about gift cards and setting up gift cards on Shopify or creating gift cards through these other options. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And with that, I will see you guys next time.